Hey Alpha Tribe, it's Alva. Welcome or welcome back to my safe space. Um, with that being said, I want to remind you guys that I'm sharing a very vulnerable and sensitive journey and transition in my life. Um, I hope that you guys can learn something or relate to it and share your stories with me in the comments below. If you like my videos, please remember to just click the like button. And if you like me in general, or my partner, or my story, or my journey, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would help out tremendously just by starting there. Um, I just want you guys to know that this is the first trimester only so far. And we have four parts in my first trimester. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. This is part two. I'm really happy with how my life is going. Remember when I said I weighed uh, 125? I actually weighed 139 ish. So, and this is what my stomach looks like after a Big Mac. I still have a normal belly button or a pre baby belly button. Yeah, this is six weeks. Six weeks and six days, and that's my update for now. I just wanted to show you guys my little machine custom belly every week. I'm gonna do a, a weekly update on this. Um, I'm going to the doctors or something important pertains to my pregnancy. Um, like if you talk to me today on July 15th, and also your family, and we are keeping this secret from you, just know that we love you and uh, we'll tell you in six weeks. The first person that I wanted to tell was his little sister because she's like my favorite and I feel like she would be the most excited. But the first person we're gonna tell is his mom because his mom is the best mom ever and like a really big mother figure to me. Then we're gonna tell my mom. Then we're gonna tell the rest of our family. But like as soon as we tell our moms, our families are gonna know. Like our moms are gonna tell everybody. They're Dominican. Um, so we're gonna tell his mom on her birthday. We're gonna give her a sonogram. God willing, you know, everything goes to plan. Thank you, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, so hard I have a rotated molar two rotated molars on the side the very last teeth I've gotten all my wisdom teeth removed but I do have this issue and so whenever I completely close my mouth my jaw like my nerves get pinched my, my nerves touch which sends pain throughout my jaw and um, this is Friday so it started on Monday severe because I was already feeling it week six um but I got a migraine all of this hurts small side of my head hurts bright light hurts beat my side hurts I called my mom today so nobody in her family knows that we are expecting um and so this morning I called my mom crying and I was like mom I have a headache and I just don't want to go to the ER my mom is kind of a holistic person so she I'm glad she did it um tell me to just take ibuprofen or something i know i can take tylenol but i haven't been told by a doctor that i could take tylenol so i'm just avoiding that i also don't want to use too much western medicine during my pregnancy if you know you know but this migraine like i, I don't even know how to cure a freaking migraine with herbs 
So my mom just told me to kind of like swish coconut oil around my mouth back here. And I thought it was going to be like a placebo effect kind of thing. But, sorry. It actually helped me just a little bit. And so I did that. And then she told me to take a cotton ball. That's why I have like a little like swollen. I'm not, I'm not swollen at all. Um, I have like a cotton pad. I ground it up some clove and let it sit in coconut oil for a little while and then I put that on my teeth and it's helping with the pain on my jaw but I still have like a, mig a migraine and I don't know I, I just want to freaking take medicine like I just I'm so used to popping an ibuprofen when I don't feel well and calling it a day I'm feeling a bunch of emotions. Um, obviously, I still have no belly. Like, no protruding belly. I have a, a belly, but... I have, like, a pregnancy belly. Um, before I found out that I was pregnant, I was already, like, missing my mom and feeling sentimental and emotional about not having, like, my mom. And then that's, um... Uh, that only got more se severe once I actually found out that I'm pregnant because I freaking miss my mom, bro. And I just want to be able to tell my mom that I'm pregnant and like have her hug me <laughs> or like, you know, tell me like, I feel like in a way I'm missing out. I I'm doing this on my own. And when I say on my own, I mean without my mom, literally, without like maternal advice. So I'm doing this on my own, but I just feel like I wish that I could, um, like I wish I had um, an experienced woman to in my family to tell me like the common symptoms that she had or um, remedies, like Dominican remedies that I can do to help me through the symptoms. Or even just like boost of confidence, um, you know, people telling me that I can do it, just people to be excited for me and stuff like that. But I guess we're gonna have to wait till the second trimester because my boyfriend and I spoke about it, and like we're okay with telling our mother, we're okay with telling them, but we don't, we don't want issues. Like I want peace, no problem. Clove and coconut oil doesn't taste that bad, but it's like questionable. And um, okay, so other symptoms. I've had this migraine for about a week now. I throw up every morning, so morning sickness really has been kicking my fucking ass. Because um, if I like drink a cup of water in the morning, how I usually do, or juice or anything, I throw it up like half an hour later. Like I just got this nauseous feeling in my stomach and. Willie taught me this trick that if I just like eat some salt, it'll take the nausea away. But that worked, so that worked for a really long time. I used to get morning sickness every day without having pregnancy. I used to just feel really nauseous in the mornings. So now that I'm pregnant, um, those days I would take a little bit of salt and it would make me feel better. It would take the nausea away. But now, now it doesn't matter how much salt I eat or what it, I'll try to, I'll try to like beat my nausea by eating something. No, like I just have to throw up in the morning and I know nausea, uh, morning sickness isn't only in the morning and it can be severe or mild, but it just feels gross because then I have like a lot of pressure in my head and it just makes my headache worse right away. Hey guys! Alright, this is me. I haven't done my hair, I haven't done anything today. Um, but today, um, without checking my phone, today is July 23rd. Today's Saturday. Boom! July 23rd. Saturday, July 23rd is the PM already. 
today I'm eight weeks pregnant and um, I was feeling like freaking <coughs> absolute hard today um, it's actually been really hard I had the worst morning sickness ever um, this afternoon or the worst nausea ever so luckily I've been off all week from work not off I've just been working from home but like it came in handy because I also had heavier symptoms this week this is one of the vitamins that I take every day it's called seven wonders by chalk and it has organic shaga cordyceps turkey tail lion's mane maitake oyster and reishi mushrooms so I take that I've been craving juice so I have some cranberry juice in here anytime I drink water I get nauseous um other cravings that I've had I've been craving like soup I'm kind of sweaty it's hot summertime the AC is on but don't even be busting no I did not go to Binghamton so yesterday we went to go get food immediately it was extremely hot yesterday so um, I had the heaviest migraine it extended all through the back of my neck and when we were walking outside <clears throat> to go to his mom's house the sun was so bright that like when i would cross the street the reflective stripes on the ground would enhance my headache and then i just had to like close my eyes and hold his hand while i was crossing and it was really painful i ate more from Vito's because i was craving like a soup like a chicken soup like you know the soup you eat when you're sick <clears throat> But then I saw the Mofum Gita and I was like, gotta have it. We took like a three hour nap and that was the best nap I've ever taken. I feel like lately I say that about every nap I take, but I mean it because my naps have been bussing, bussing, okay? I've been so freaking tired, <laughs> very fatigued. That's like my main um, symptom of pregnancy at the moment. <clears throat> um, I give it up to all of the women that don't catch a break and have other kids and other responsibilities that they have to tend to i'm very fortunate that my partner let me chill and like baby me and just let me rest this whole time today i was feeling not dizzy um no headache but i was feeling very nauseous and a little tired i took a nap earlier um so then yeah we just went home in the afternoon well like at the in the evening today's saturday Today I was feeling all of that, so I'm going to read you guys my daily fact. On this day, my baby weighs as much as a jelly bean and is as big as a raspberry. Cute. Um, I think he has all of his organs. Well, it has all of its organs. And it grew arms and legs already. It has, it has its major organs. This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh my god. It's so freaking cute. But like my stomach be feeling weird like i have like little flutters but i'm pretty sure i can't feel the baby because it's all the way in there but like who knows maybe i'm just in tune eyes are darkening with pigment but they don't have ability to open and close their eyelids just yet even though they can't sense light um they're developing their taste buds which i probably think is why i've been throwing up certain shit like i ate tostones and velveeta this morning threw it up um, I'll eat like random things that I like but I don't love and they will be like throw it up and I'll be like fuck guess I have to now Willie was trying to give me salt to kill the nausea I did that today did not work baby was not a big rock he was like uh uh we don't like that um the limbs look like little paddles which I think is really so freaking cute and my body it makes sense that I'm tired all the time um, because I'm literally making a human. Um, my gum, my teeth issue makes sense because of the hormones that I'm producing. I might have sensitive gums like gingivitis and stuff like that. And it makes sense because I'm just more nervous, um, sensitive in my gums and in my teeth. And hormones, um, I'm, it makes sense that I'm craving stuff and have sensitive smell. So I used to have very sensitive smell, which is why I started my candle business um, about based on mental health and it was focused on your olfactory senses which hold trauma or cause like cause you to remember certain things or forget certain things and when i i learned in my research that when you're really anxious you tend to smell certain things because you block out other senses so your nose picks up a lot more and that's why 
I used to take the train, stressed, trying to get to like work or my program, and I would smell something from all the way down the train or like down the station or like down the block. I would just smell it right away because I was so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.